One of the tenets of labor management is the fact that I've got this workforce that's costing a lot of money. I want to reduce that as much as I can while keeping the throughput, right? So with a labor management system, I can identify people that maybe aren't following policies right, that need coaching, and it automatically drives coaching. So you drive interaction with these individuals, which goes very far for them understanding what's the right process, what's the level of effort that we're looking for, and hey, there's opportunity as well, monetary and non-monetary. So really driving that, you need an LMS to do that. What that does is you get more from your workforce, and then as you grow, the culture itself pulls those individuals in so now they know that it's a culture of performance, of throughput, of getting the work assigned completed in the time that, that's been assigned. Just like we're using automation to optimize the movement of things, labor management optimizes the resources that end up picking and packing those things. When you train staff using an LMS, not only is it you're assured that the processes themselves will be followed because if they're not, it'll be highlighted in your reporting. It drives a culture of people helping other people understand what the role is. So more than anything, we can enforce processes from a leadership standpoint, but really when the culture itself drives those processes and drives that engagement, that's what you really want. So now we're all a team. We know exactly what our goal is because LMS does very well at aligning what the goals of your role are. So it allows us to all be working towards the same end and aligning your labor resources in that way, making them feel understood, visible, rewarded, that all drives towards this culture that really not only ups your um, process adherence and allows you to train faster and help people uh, onboard quicker, but it drives this culture that keeps adherence going forward and forward as new people come on. Mm -hmm.